Hi, welcome to the Numeracy 5 Day Answers for the 7th of May. If you need help in just one particular question, these video numbers may help you. Otherwise, let's go through all the answers now. So the first question. The first question says, name this 3D shape. So as you can see, it's a cylinder. So that's C-Y-L-I-N-D-E-R. Next is draw a net for that shape. So as you can see, we've got a rectangle. That's the curved bit going around. And you've got a circle for the top and a circle for the bottom. So it looks something like this. The next one says draw a net for a cuboid. So I've gone for a cuboid that looks like this, with a rectangle on the bottom, one, two, three, four sides that fold up, and then the, to the, the lid at the top there. Okay, next question. Our next question says to work out 0.84 divided by 10. So when we divide by 10, the digits will move one column to the right. So the answer would be 0.084. And the next question says to divide 31,400 by 1,000. So because it's got three zeros, the digits will move three columns to the right. So the four will move from the hundreds to the tens, ones, tenths. So it's going to be 0.4, and then it'll be 3, 1. So the answer will be 31.4. Our next question. Our next question says to write four fifths as a decimal. So to write four fifths as a decimal, one fifth is 0 0.2, two fifths is 0 0.4, three fifths is 0 0.6, and four fifths is 0 0.8. So I tend to learn them off by heart. Otherwise, you could do, because it's 4 divided by 5, you could do 4 divided by 5, like so. Put the decimal points in. 5 into 4 goes 0, remainder 4. 5 into 40 goes 8 times. So the answer would be 0 0.8. And the next question says write 3 quarters as a percentage. That would be 75%. Our next question. The next question says, Kelly sells 4 books of raffle tickets, and there are 10 tickets in each book. So that would be 4 times 10. That would be 40 altogether. So the question says, how many tickets does she sell? Well, that's 40. The next part says, each ticket costs 50 pence. How much money does she receive? Now, there's two ways to do this. One way is to say, well, if they cost one pound and she sold 40 of them, that would be 40 pound. 50p would be half of that, so that would be 20 pound. Another way to do it is to do 50 multiplied by 40. So putting the zero down, four times zero is zero. Four times five is 20. So the answer would be 20 pound. That's it.